Hello everyone, this is Bill Apter down here in another section of uh, Apter's Alley, the editing suite. And uh, a little bit messy down here and a little bit unshaven down here. But you know what? I need to talk to you. If you call me a nostalgia nut. Yeah, even recent nostalgia. But man, did I pop when I heard that Juventud Guerrera is going to be taking on Chris Jericho, the champion. Um, even though he doesn't have a belt right now. Uh, and what a, what a wild match that was against uh, Nick Gage uh, last night on uh, Dynamite. It was like uh, I was waiting for Joey Styles to run out and give an, Oh my God! Yeah. But uh, I saw a fan uh, suggested that uh, for Jericho's match against this guy, this is an original mask that he gave me many years ago, uh, that Mike Tanay come back. Um, and I think that's a fabulous idea. Somebody tweeted that, and I thought that was a great idea. But yeah, nostalgic. Now, well, let me clarify something. That match between um, Chris Jericho and Nick Age, uh, no rules, was ultra-violent. And uh, I'm not I'm not saying I loved it and it was something I want to see all the time, but uh, AEW gave the fans uh, a smorgasbord of various tastes last night, and if that's your taste, you got a good uh, good taste of it. But I am very psyched on the nostalgia, the current nostalgia bandwagon to see who uh, into You know what? I have not put this mask on. Years should I should I go for it? I'm gonna have to. My comb over is still very active, but let me see. Because maybe, maybe, maybe the thing here is that Hoovy is not going to. Yeah, there's. It's the light up there. There is hair up here. Maybe Hoovy's not gonna really be there. Maybe it's gonna be Willy Willy and Toot. I can't find the uh, the other. I hear wherever the heck that there we go. There we go. What do you think? Yeah, I kinda like it. Chris Jericho, I'm coming for you and Dynamite next week. You better be careful because I'm going to have promised MJF that I was going to win. Convincing? <laughs> Alright, so I just wanted to uh, check in and see what uh, what your feeling is about um, uh, Hoovy coming back and all this, uh, God, you know, Sting and uh, so many other uh, AEW people. Now uh, Mark Henry is there. I know he's not uh, from past WCW, uh, but he's in there. Uh, big Show, you know, his broadcasters. and Now Hoovy coming in against uh, Chris Jericho. Let me know what you think. All right, I think it's a great idea. This is Bill Apter, and they did, man, they did great uh, ratings again um, last night on this episode of uh, Dynamite. Uh, I, I don't have the number directly in front of me, but I think it was something like 1.5 or 1.8 uh, million people, something like that. So, yeah, they're, they're doing really well on uh, Wednesday Night Dynamite, I'm looking forward also to seeing their... Uh, upcoming new show on Friday nights that'll air uh, after SmackDown, so we get three hours of Friday night wrestling. Sports entertainment for two, um, professional wrestling for one. All right, this is it. Bill Apter and maybe me under the mask. See you at the matches. Contra Lucha Libre. The biggest journalist in wrestling Well, thank you. Well, I'm not that tall. <laughs> But I'm not, I, this is my 50th year, and Alex is taping this too. So this is two, and you're we're two with things. So we're here at the after chat right. at the old ECW arena here, and you wrestled here many times. Actually, when that whole lucha revolution started yes. with you and Ray Ray, it was all here. Exactly, exactly. Psychosis. Yeah, right here in the middle. We were like jumping around. We were like flying out. We were breaking through. 
the world of professional wrestling history in the U.S. Yeah. And that was a big statement. And I was very happy to be part of that. And now, you know, I opened the door for guys like Pentagon now. Yes. And, and Phoenix and all of those new Lucha guys, you know, but the masters of that revolutionary style, that was my great mystery of myself and psychosis. And, you know, it, I'm very happy to be here in uh, this arena. Philadelphia. In Philadelphia, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, like, it was like your second home. Exactamente, como yeah. mi segunda casa. Yeah, yeah that's so right. So tell everybody who where you're wrestling these days. Oh, I'm, I'm working in Mexico. I'm working in the UK. I'm working uh, uh, independent scenes in the in, uh, in America. I'm looking for another big shot in a, in a major company. But at the, in the meantime, I'm working on a TV show in Mexico, which is called La Arena. La oh. Arena. It, it's a national TV in Mexico, and and I'm doing it, the show. Talks about whatever happened in uh, in the arena, music, concert, everything, wrestling, everything, everything. So I, I go I go around the world. And having this interview with people, and now you're going to be in my show too. Well, and you're going to be in my show as well. That's awesome. Yeah, on OneWrestling.com. So uh, one of the things I wanted to ask you, let's go back in history here. Back in the days of WCW, when uh, they started taking the masks off the luchadors, that hurt, didn't it? I, I, yes, of course. You know, like uh, I was, I was, I think I was like 22 years old. Yeah. So for me, it was like. Um, and like taking Ray's mask off too. Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. But we were like so young in the business, so we were like didn't know exactly what to do or what to say. We kind of like we were like going by the flow. So you, you know. So you say yes, sir. Yeah, exactly. Well, kind of like that. Your you job. know. What yeah. is the what in, in Mexico now? Is the mask still so highly uh, thought of in Mexico? Yes, of course, of course, you know, that's a tradition that is, ne is never going to stop, it's never going to win, never going to lose that. And so that's kind of like a unique thing for Mexico and luchadores and for, for, for all the fans around the world today can appreciate a different type of wrestling, you know, yeah. Lucha Libre. Who was your Lucha Libre hero? Lucha Libre hero was Eddie Guerrero. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, and, and obviously my dad and uh, Negro Casas and, uh, yeah, those were kind of like my, 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 my type of um, mentors. So did you design your own mask, the, the, the face that you wanted? Yeah, you know, a lot of people were talking about why I didn't use the, the, the same design as my dad, right? Yeah, yes. But uh, I kind of like always like I was, and I still I am um, a rock and roll player, a uh, heavy metal guy kind yeah. of bad so i always like the the hair outside that's why when i was going the corner in wcw CW, i was pulling my hair you yes, know yes, in yes. tribute to those heavy metal yeah, bands yeah. you know yeah, yeah. so that that that's uh that's how i got it and uh so i always want to take my, my the hair outside the mat because if i if it was inside the mat it would be like not so juicy you know that's right so let me ask you one last question who was your toughest opponent i know everybody asks you that but we don't know that <laughs> i think that the biggest opponent is the, is the guy you're going to be facing your next match. But is there one guy that you've wrestled already who took you to the limits? Was it Ray? I think, yeah, I think Ray can say, we can say we, we kind of like, we have a lot of chemistry, you know? Yeah, yeah. Billy yeah. Kisman, Chris, uh, Chris, Chris Jericho, yes, you know? Yes, uh, Oh, yes. Those, 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 those guys, they were the guys that we were like pushing to the limits. All right, where can people find you on social media? Oh, they can find me on Twitter. It's Juventud Guerre with the number two at the end. Uh, number two, because uh, it was like Juventud Guerrera. Somebody, yeah. Somebody stole it. Somebody from stole me. that. Yeah. So so just, Juventud Guerrera. I want to say to 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 your friends and ours over here. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. See, I do speak some Spanish. Muy bien. Very and, good. You know, Mil Mascaras, it's doc documented in my book that my first luchador hero was. Mil Mascaras. Mil Mascaras, man. Yes, oh, yes, man. yes. And he, he and uh, Blue Demon and El Santo, they really set the bar for the luchadors, didn't they? Oh, yeah, for sure. Those, those actually, yeah, pioneers, you know, of yes. the industry, yes. you know. Yes. So we followed their step, and now new guys are going to follow our set. And this is, this is what it's all about, wrestling, you know. Connection and, 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 and skills and goodness and and, uh, and juiciness. All right. So juiciness. now we want to say thank you uh, to you. And we point out here, we'll see you at the matches. And you got to bring me to Mexico to come down and be on your show. Exactly. Bill. Live, in person. Hola, Mexico. Adios. Adios.
Adiós.